And we go, au revoir. Oh, oh what? Oh. He jumped me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must be yeah, nice. Look at your roof, guys. Nice. We are driving a Riviera in the rain right now. Bro, you're driving a La Ferrari. I am. And they're not getting any better. Oh, my God. Let's go. Terry <laughs> really how to drive. <laughs> and just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. We're in Columbus, Ohio with Triple F. And check this out. We have a 1500 horsepower Bugatti Chiron against the Tesla Plaid. Today is the day. Is a $4 million Bugatti faster than a $200,000 Tesla Plaid? Now, if you guys have not heard of Triple F, they have every single hybrid car imaginable. They've just been throwing us keys to anything and everything. We have a Koenigsegg Regera. Today's video is going to be absolute chaos, absolute carnage. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know where we're going. But if my insurance agent is watching today's video, uh, we're in Mexico and uh, it's all CGI. Now, I know there's a bunch of Tesla fanboys watching today's video. I love Tesla, you guys love Tesla. Honestly, like, we want the Tesla to win, so we're gonna give the Tesla the best chance possible. We found a world-class racing driver, the best driver known to man is gonna be driving the Plaid. Ladies and gentlemen, baby Burlacker in the flesh and with co-pilot Luke Terry. Ooh. Johnny, I mean, we're like literally we're the, the worst. We're terrible, we're driving the Chiron. But, but we're like, light. We're, we're lighter. Light. We are light. Advantage us. Now you guys don't know this, but Burlacker, you've driven a lot of Tesla Plaids, right? You know exactly how to get into this car. With that. He's a professional, I promise. He is a Tesla professional. How long will it take to actually get into the Plaid? Oh, hey, oh easy, worked. no big deal. Wow, my voice is squeaking today. Can I drive the Koenigsegg? No, oh, no, okay. you cannot. No, you're All stuck right. with your silly steering wheel and your Tesla Plaid, and of course, W16 LOL. You know, the thing about Johnny and I and the Bugatti, we exude class, we exude sophistication. We deserve to be in this car. And we know how to open the door. Exactly. I mean, was it that hard? It's really not that big of a deal. I just realized we haven't heard from Burlack or Lou. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to Mexico. Uh -huh. Already the victory speech. Look at that smug smile. You guys watching like YouTube in here? We all know we have to get this out of our system. Just do the flash lens, just do it. <laughs> You're a managing director, Nick. Let that sink in. This is back-to-back -back videos. And we go, au revoir. Oh, oh what? Oh. He jumped me. That guy jumped me. Let's go, Sharon. Oh, those four turbos to blow up is so good. This is going to be a good race. Dude, baby Burlacker's jumping in the morning. He's got heavy feet. He does. Well, I mean, that size logically makes sense good. when you think about it. I mean, yeah. the dude is 230 pounds. His feet are a lot heavier than mine. It's not fair, it's a competitive advantage. This is the moment of truth we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sawmill, Mexico. That's right, it's not like the fresh air in Sawmill, Mexico. Mm. We got the Bugatti share on. If any Bugatti executives are watching today's video, let it rip tater chips. So, we're gonna enable launch control. In three, two, one, go! Go, go! Yeah. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Yes, yes! Sheeran for the win! W16, baby! Let's go! Just because I know the Tesla fanboys are saying we cheated, we jumped. We didn't jump, but you're saying it's we skill. jumped. It's skill, it's tenacity, it's, it's determination, it's focus, it's clear eyes, four horse can't lose. It's really 1500 horsepower. We're gonna do round two, baby. Let her rip Tater Chip. All right, in three, two, one, go! Come on, baby! Go! 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 go. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Goodness. Dude, the sheer on the, the internal sheer combustion on. engine lives to fight another day, to win another day. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. I actually thought the plaid was gonna beat the sheer on, right. but no. We got him. We got him. I have never in my entire life launched a Bugatti sheer on. Oh my goodness. How'd it go for you guys? Hey, what happened? It's funny watching you launch. <laughs> why? Why was that funny? It's not, why is it comedian? As you launch, you hit your camera in your face. <laughs> Got a bruise. I'm literally having my moment. These guys are laughing at me at my bruise. expense. Yeah, that's I'm fine. Do. Exactly. You guys are just losers mad. You sad. You lost. You, yeah, you did. Did you win? We're all winners here. We're this all, a okay. Oh, we get participation trophies. <laughs> you it. I just want to say the license plate is somewhat ironic. Wouldn't you say W16LL? I would say Plaid LOL. I think the worst part about getting in a car after Burlacker drives, it's such a humbling experience. My legs are so incredibly short. I, I'm, I'm a normal, I'm a normal height human. He's just enormous. Now I can see all you Tesla fanboys typing away saying how it wasn't a fair race, how we put Burlacker in the car, but Burlacker, he is a normal human being. 270 pounds, real world circumstances. The Bugatti Sheeran, like it took the Tesla Plaid. Obviously it's a $130,000 car, a $4 million car. I realize the Plaid is an incredible machine, but the Sheeran did win. And on that bombshell, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Policy Genius. Now just like you guys, 
guys, I understand the frustration of trying to find the right home and auto insurance policy, especially in this day and age. The cost of everything is through the roof. Gas prices are going crazy, inflation is running rampant, and finding the right insurance policy is not only difficult, it's also very, very, very expensive. Well, I have found the perfect solution. Now, Policy Genius is a one-stop shop for all your insurance needs, and guys, getting started is so easy. First, head off to policygenius.com slash stratman, where you're gonna answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. After that, Policy Genius is gonna send you price estimates for different policies that best fit your needs and help you pick the right option. Their team of experts will look for ways to save you money, especially when you bundle home and auto insurance. And remember guys, Policy Genius works for you, not the insurance company. If they find a policy that better fits your needs, they'll switch you over for free. Now, Policy Genius has saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. Guys, check out the link below or simply go to policygenius.com slash stratman to get a free quote on your home and auto insurance needs. Guys, check out that link below and start saving money today. I don't know exactly how this has happened. We've been handed the keys to the Koenigsegg Regera. I, I know, I know, this is not safe. The coolest doors in the entire world. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. So easy, so cool. You guys might remember the last time I drove the Regera. It was like mid-February. It was like snowing and raining and sleeting. I had the roof off. Today is much nicer. It's like 90 degrees. It's humid. Oh goodness, there's just nothing quite like the Koenigsegg squad, the Ghost Squadron. I just love this windshield so much. This car is the most visceral experience in the entire world. So, we're taking the Koenigsegg, we're taking the Chiron, we're taking the LaFerrari. Johnny is jumping up and down. Bro, this is the day. This is such a good day. We've been in the car for five seconds and it just started raining. We gotta go, we gotta go. The faster we go, the less rain that gets in the car, right? Well, unfortunately, our time driving a Koenigsegg Regera convertible is over. We're gonna pop the boot, we're gonna put the roof back on the car. Now, of course, the age-old question, how many guys, how long does it take to put the roof on a Koenigsegg? Uh, one, two, three. Obviously, I'm completely useless, so it's really just Sorry. Cedric and Bryce doing it. <laughs> wow, we're throwing hands, we're getting violent. Workplace violence is not the answer. Yeah, 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 it must hey, be bro, nice. Put your roof must on. be nice, bro. Ah. Okay, see ya. These guys in their fancy cars, you got, wow, okay, I see you there, bro, the You just pushed one button. I got a whole crew to put my roof on, though. We run into a minor issue in the Koenigsegg. The car is now in a limp mode because it thinks the rear hatch is open, but the rear hatch isn't open, so the, the car is driving in a limp mode. We can't drive it faster than like six, seven miles an hour. Then it cuts the power. Then it gives us a little boost. So we're gonna try to limp the car back home. It it appears our Koenigsegg dream is dying a very fast death. The rain was only the beginning. It's very hard to describe what's going on. My foot is to the floor. We're going six miles an hour. Come on, seven, eight. Come on, baby. Come on, Koenigsegg. This is, we are causing a massive traffic jam. My foot is to the floor right now. We're going seven miles an hour, six, five, seven. So it like gives us a little boost of power and then it dies. And it's only because it thinks the rear deck lid is open. Well, unfortunately, the Koenigsegg dream is dying a very, 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 very fast death. We were putting the car away, but Brett walked up to me and he handed me the keys to a carbon McLaren P1, so I think I'm going to be okay. Oh, it's good to be back in the P1, baby. Yes, it is. It is so good to be back in the P1. Honestly, like, I love the Koenigsegg, but I think the P1 might be my favorite car they have. I just... I can't help it. I love this car so much. You guys remember August 2020, I was trying to decide, do I go Veyron, do I go P1? <laughs> Let's go, baby! Let's go! Honestly, the fact that the Koenigsegg broke, I think might end up being the best thing ever. The way this car accelerates, it does not get any better! Oh my gosh! Let's go! We got Johnny Shark ripping by the law Ferrari, as he does. This is so sick! That Ford GT, look at him! He's so happy! Did you see that grin? He's such a happy guy! You know what Luke needs? He needs a Ford. That's what he needs. Maybe an Escort or a Fusion or a Focus. But you know what we all need? We all need chicken nuggies and we need McFlurries. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Golden Arches. Welcome to McDonald's. I know, I know, you're gonna be like, how can you drive in these cars and the only place you can go is McDonald's. We're hungry and it's delicious. Hi, uh, yeah, can I get the 10 piece chicken nuggies, please? Thank you so much. Let's go, baby, let's go. I know this man is starving right now. He's waiting in line so patiently. One nuggy? You want one Gosh, nugget? I wouldn't have made it. I know, I gotcha. Thanks, you got bro. some crumbs on your Strad shirt, but there's a link to Strad merch in the description below. Let's go, baby. This is absolutely crazy right now. Yep, come on, Johnny, come on, we gotcha. Just a little bit. 
goodness! Obviously, he's got plenty of room. I just wanted to give poor Johnny a heart attack. Type room number 47 is descending on us right now. We're Why? having a hurricane. Why is the ice cream machine broken? It's always Wait, is broken. is it actually broken? It is. My McFlurry, I was good. It what? probably broke right after my McFlurry. What? Why is this weather? This is insane. I got, I got we got ice cream. This it was a personal cool. issue with you, Luca. Whatever. Yeah, I Whatever. get it, though. Uh, yeah, so a hurricane is actually headed this direction. We just got here, but I think it's time to go. It was fun. Uh, we love you. The Nuggies are going to have to wait. This is actually absurd right now. We're going to take it out of track mode. We're going to put it in granny mode right now. It is dumping right now. It's a carbon series P1. There's legit like five of these in the entire country. And we like it is downpouring right now. This car is rear wheel drive. It has 900 horsepower. I got my Nuggies. I just want to eat these in peace and quiet. This is insane. Like really, Ohio? You're never going to guess. It stopped raining. We're back to full set of the P1. I love this car so much. I have got to get myself a P1. Maybe I just sell everything. I don't know. It's so good. How do the turbos sound so good? Why does the 720 not drive like this? This thing is ridiculous. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Well, that right there was one for the ages for sure. This poor car. We were driving through like a foot of water. So incredibly crazy. The STOs made it. The La Ferraris made it. The center of the P1. The Chiron's made it. But where's Burlacker? I see the 4 GT, but where is Burlacker? Did baby Burlacker melt? We lost him. He's Did still we? eating at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> We've reached a sad moment in the video. A fond farewell, Johnny Sharp. Luke, you're not going, bro. You're coming with us Dang in the it. Ferrari. We're driving that baby back across the country. Johnny's flying back to Utah. Johnny, we appreciate you. We support you. We love you. And we'll see you soon. Hi, right, buddies, Jim. If there are any Ford executives watching today's video, I love the Ford GT. It's the most gorgeous, the best sounding car in the entire world. I love that car. But we are hopping in the loose. So we are driving 2,000 miles. I don't know where West is. I think West is that way. We're driving that car 2,000 miles. That way. And of course, the all important moment of truth one day, 14 minutes, 1696 miles back to Salt Lake City, Utah. And guess what? Luke, <laughs> we're dropping him off at the airport and the he's guy. flying home. Imagine that. He did that in the Supra, he's doing it in the Luso. You're going to drop me off too, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, this is it. Wow. Deja vu. Hey, hey, hey get away hug. from me. No. Deja vu. The last time we did this was in Dallas. I was in a 97 Super, now we're in a Luso. so yeah. best of luck, mate. I'm taking your garbage home too as well. I can't wait for the Countach, because that's going to be a... Yeah, fun. you're going to make it to Jacksonville. I'll make it that far. Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> All right, peace hey, out, Girl Scout. See, see you, dude. And then there were two. We lost Johnny. We lost Luca. I know. I know. I appreciate you. I support you. Don't give me those eyes, okay? It's hours. only 25 hours 25 back hours. to Utah. Well, we better get, well, actually, before we hit the road. We, we got to eat. eat. We got to eat. Yep. The weather in front of us is quite ominous, but to infinity and beyond. Let's go, 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 go to 9,000. And we're off. The more I think about it, the more I think maybe Luke and Johnny were right. That's a squall line right there. Look at that. That is legit. It's a squall line. Squall. It's proper terminology. Spell it. it is. Spell it. S Q U A L L. I don't know if this is safe. And six hours later, welcome to the beautiful state of Missouri and welcome to St. Louis. I don't really have that much to say, but uh, yeah, quick shout out to the St. Louis fans. It is currently 2 a.m. as we drive around downtown St. Louis. Obviously, we're lost, but we're going to be okay because we have technology at our fingertips. St. Louis Arch, right in front of us. You guys are never gonna guess. We're lost in St. Louis. Every single road we go down, it just says road closed. The road's also in Missouri. If you live in Missouri, the asphalt here is less than ideal. Lost in St. Louis, walking no, in this place. No. no, today's video's not over? Yes, today's video is it should be over. Today's video's over. Initially, I thought it was a great idea to have those idiots drive the plaid, but now I realize, Johnny, like... We better not lose. Oh, I know. It's going to be so saying. embarrassing. All right, come on. You stink. Get out of here. This car is capable of doing 250 miles an hour. My top speed today in the Regera is a calm 8 miles an hour. So, foot is to the floor. We're just kind of sort of chilling. 